Parliament last debated whether or not to repeal Section 377A in 2007. MPs expressed strong views on both sides. I joined in the debate to advise restraint and caution. I acknowledged that what consenting adults do in private is their personal affair, and the government should not intervene. But I pointed out that not everyone was equally accepting of homosexuality. Quite a few had considerable reservations, particularly within certain religious groups, including the Muslims, the Catholics, and many Protestant denominations. The government decided then that we would leave 377A on our books, but not actively enforce it. We stopped short of repealing the law. It would have been too divisive to force the issue then. It was better for us to live with this untidy compromise, and it was a practical way to accommodate evolving societal attitudes and norms in Singapore. The compromise didn't satisfy every group, but by and large, it has enabled all of us to get along, and so we have lived with this sensitive issue without it monopolizing our national agenda or dividing our society. Now, 15 years later, attitudes have shifted appreciably. While we remain a broadly conservative society, gay people are now better accepted in Singapore, especially among younger Singaporeans. It's timely to ask ourselves again the fundamental question. Should sex between men in private be a criminal offence? Singaporeans still have differing views on whether homosexuality is right or wrong, but most people accept that a person's sexual orientation and behaviour is a private and personal matter, and that sex between men should not be a criminal offence. Even among those who want to retain Section 377A, most don't want to see it actively enforced and criminal penalties applied. From the national point of view, private sexual behaviour between consenting adults does not raise any law and order issue. There is no justification to prosecute people for it, nor to make it a crime. Furthermore, we've seen several court challenges to 377A, seeking to declare the law unconstitutional. None have succeeded so far. However, following the most recent judgment in the Court of Appeal, the Minister for Law and the Attorney General have advised that in a future court challenge, there is a significant risk of Section 377A being struck down on the grounds that it breaches the equal protection provision in the Constitution. We have to take that advice seriously. It would be unwise to ignore the risk and do nothing. For these reasons, the government will repeal Section 377A and decriminalise sex between men. I believe this is the right thing to do and something that most Singaporeans will now accept. This will bring the law into line with current social mores and I hope provide some relief to gay Singaporeans.